So our first question is from Chris, and here's the interesting thing about the question. It's a Turkish getup question, and as many of you know, that can drive me crazy. Having said that, Chris comes up with something I really think is a good idea. It's the way I teach the Turkish getup at certs, but he's come up with the same idea independently. He says, I have a question regarding Turkish getups. I like them. I like the way I feel after them. But if I'm honest, I do a Turkish get down to get up. I'm starting and finishing at the top saves you from the awkward roll to swap hands. And they're right there. I thought to myself, that's why Chris, I want to thank you because I don't know if I've ever thought of that as an advantage, but boy, I have to agree with you. So gentle listener, the idea of a Turkish get up is that you snatch or clean and press the weight up and then you do the Turkish get down. Here's the thing. If you flop into the lunge position or you flop into the, what we call the kneeling windmill position, stop. Load's too big. Something's wrong with you. So safety wise, this is a, a better way to go. But Chris's idea about how you just switch the top, you know, you could bring it down, cross arms, press it, push, jerk it up and go. I think that's really a good idea, especially those of us who worry about safety. And to be honest, I'm certainly not a nut, but I worry about safety in the weight room. Um, not for lawsuit reasons, just because you get hurt in the weight room and it, you stay hurt. Uh, I've, I've had my fair share of weight room injuries, uh, usually in competitions, but you know, that load can do a lot of damage to you. Um, starting at the top also gives you an opportunity to clean and press or snatch to get the bell up there. It certainly fits, fits complexes better. Eh, I'm not a fan of having Turkish get-ups and complexes, but that's just me. Am I being an, am I missing a nuance? In fact, no, no. In fact, I think you're very insightful. Is there a more in, up, and down than down and up? No. No. In fact, I think what you'll find is that if you crash on a Turkish get down, you were doing something on a Turkish get up that was not, uh, you, you know, like, um, the, one of the biggest things we see at the certs is people throwing their head forward to get the momentum. They, the, some people call it the tomahawk leg chop. They just do all these extra movements that you can't do. Well, you can do anything, but uh, uh, I don't suggest you do on a Turkish get down. Chris, great question.